Next.js 13.5 is here, and it has had a lot of useful improvements as compared to its previous version. To start with, seems like the local server startup and refresh time have been improved. Next.js has given priority to the app router performance and reliability due to its growing demand. You get a 22% faster local server setup, 29% faster hot module replacement, meaning your modules will now be updated 29% faster at runtime without the need for a full refresh. And there is a 40% reduction in memory usage when running the next start command, making applications more memory efficient. This performance was achieved through various methods such as number one, caching or minimizing slow operations, which involves storing the results of certain operations in memory and reducing the amount of work performed during development that ultimately makes the local server faster. Number two, by optimizing expensive file system operations. Because file system operations can be resource intensive, by optimizing these operations such as reading or writing files, Next.js reduces the time it takes to access and manipulate files, further improving performance during development. Number three, better incremental tree traversal during compilation. Now, in the context of web development, a tree represents the structure of a project, with nodes representing different components or files. Incremental tree traversal means that Next.js has improved its ability to navigate through this project structure more efficiently during the compilation process. This helps in building and updating the application faster. Number four, moving unnecessary blocking synchronous calls to be lazy. Synchronous calls are operations that pause the execution of code until they are complete. By making these calls lazy, Next.js delays their execution until they are actually needed, rather than blocking the program unnecessarily. This ensures that the development process is smoother and doesn't unnecessarily slow down. And number 5 is automatically configuring large icon libraries. This means that when using popular icon libraries like Material UI icons, Next.js will load only the specific icons that are actually used in your project, rather than loading the entire library. This reduces unnecessary data transfer and improves performance. Next.js 13.5 also has optimized package imports, benefiting both local development performance and production code starts, particularly when using large icon or component libraries. The new optimized package imports feature automatically optimizes imports, loading only the modules actually used. This improvement is especially helpful for libraries like Material UI, UpFNS, Lodash, React Bootstrap, and others. Apart from this, they have also added improvement in Next Image. Some advanced use cases have been added that allows us to stop using image components directly, as well as supports working with background images, canvas operations, and implementing art direction or light or dark mode images to handle different images based on conditions, like implementing different images for different color schemes, or art direction where you want to show different images on different devices or screen sizes. Additionally, the placeholder prop for images now supports providing custom data images that won't appear blurry when loading. This allows you to specify a custom placeholder image for a better user experience during image loading. And apart from all this, there have been 438 bugs patched in this release, improving the overall stability and reliability of Next.js in general. So check it out and decide for yourself if you find these changes useful. One thing is for sure, the Next.js team is actively trying to improve Next.js as much as possible. If you found the video insightful, don't forget to like and subscribe.